This is CryptoTube, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to buy altcoins on Uniswap, but from a beginner's standpoint. So we're gonna create a MetaMask account. This is what you're going to need to actually interact with the Uniswap decentralized application and get your altcoin of choice. So we're gonna take it from a beginner's level all the way through. And in the description down below, there's going to be explicit instructions on how to do this step by step easy for you guys to follow along. So without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. So first and foremost, you need to download MetaMask, this nice little fox icon down here. And you need to ensure that you are downloading the correct one. There are scam versions out there, but I will leave this link down below in the description to make sure you're getting the correct one. Download it through the Chrome Web Store. And all you have to do is click on Add to Brave. So I'm on the Brave browser and I'm gonna click Add Extension. This of course works for Chrome and Brave. Brave just uses the Chrome architecture itself, but it has more privacy features than Chrome. So once that is added, you click on Get Started down here. And now you've got two options. You can either import an existing wallet or download a brand new one. So we're gonna create a new wallet today. So you now have to agree to their T's and C's and they will take some data, but it's used to actually just improve the overall usability and user experience. But they will never ask us to collect our keys, our private keys, our addresses, transactions, balances, hashes, or any personal information. And they never collect your full IP address and never sell your data for profit. So for example, if someone claiming to be MetaMask asks for your private key, your balance, your address, this is going to be a scam. And this is something to look out for in crypto because there are scams everywhere. And the best attitude to have for this is to accept the fact everybody is a scammer and they're trying to steal your crypto. And if you have that frame of mind, you won't go too far wrong. Additionally, I also use a VPN, a virtual private network. This just obscures my IP address and shows it as coming from a different location. And this is something I use when accessing any crypto based site or exchange just for additional security. So check out a link down below for Surfshark. This is the VPN provider I'm currently using and they have some awesome discounts. So now we're ready to click agree to these T's and C's and it's gonna ask us to set a new password. Everything I'm doing here is a test account, so don't get too worried. So once you've chosen your password, click create. And now we have to store our secret backup phrase. These are 12 words that get access to our MetaMask account. So this is essentially the keys to the treasure chest. If you give these to someone else, they can take your funds. So be very careful with this data. It says to actually write these down on a piece of paper and store in a secure location and to make copies as well. And you could also type these down onto say a Word document and save them on a USB stick. Do not save them directly on the computer. Your computer could be compromised. You wanna keep them offline. So a piece of paper or a USB stick. So click here to reveal these words. And these are the 12 words. So I'm just gonna copy those over to Notepad here and space them out. So now I've got these typed down, I'm gonna press next. You can also download them into a encrypted file as well. So there's a few options here. So now clicking next, and all you have to do is now confirm that you've got your words securely written down. So if they're on a piece of paper and you've got them in order, all you have to do is confirm this by putting them back into this text field in the correct order. So once that looks all correct, you've got them copied down in a correct format, you can press continue. And now it says, congratulations, we are good to go. We've got our MetaMask set up. So from here, two things to do. First of all, we're gonna look at our address. So this is our Ethereum address. You can send ETH directly to this and fund this account. But also we're gonna click up here and on the extensions, we're gonna pin the MetaMask icon. So he is now up there. And if you click on his face, you can see your account and this is the same data as up here. So if we click on it, we're just gonna copy that and jump over to Etherscan. So Etherscan is essentially like the Google of Ethereum. It allows you to see everything on the blockchain. And now we've created our own Ethereum address. We can publicly view that on the Ethereum blockchain. So in the search bar, we're just gonna paste that in and then press search. And this is gonna show our address up here and our current balance. As you can see, we have no funds right now as we've just set this up. 
So if we click on our icon once more, you can see that the balance correlates to this account here. So we're just viewing this on the blockchain and we've got our MetaMask over here with that exact same wallet. So the next step is to now send some Ethereum to this address. And there's a couple of ways you can do that. If you've already got a centralized exchange, you've got a Binance account, for example, you can take your Ethereum and withdraw to this address. So you withdraw to your Ethereum address here. And once it's sent over, this account will populate with that Ethereum. But there is also a buy function just here above my head. Click on buy and then you can purchase Ethereum directly through MetaMask as well. So whichever is easiest for you, go ahead and get that done. So now that we're armed with our MetaMask account, we've got our own way of interacting with the Ethereum blockchain. It's time to look at some altcoins. Now to do this, I use CoinGecko. I find this has the best and most up-to-date information of all the coin tracking sites. So go over to coingecko.com and open that up. And here we have all the cryptos listed in market cap order. So these are from the greatest market cap downwards. Clearly Bitcoin has the greatest market cap. Market cap is calculated by the number of coins or tokens multiplied by the price. So there's around just under 19 million Bitcoin in circulation right now multiplied by $37,144 gives you a market cap of 691 billion. Some additional information up here that we can see the total number of coins, how many exchanges there are, the crypto market cap over $1 trillion, the 24 hour trading volume occurring right now, the dominance of Bitcoin across this market, the dominance of Ethereum across this market, and the Ethereum gas cost right now, which is rather high. Over on the right hand side, we can click through different pages and go through by market cap to all these different altcoins. And as we go a little bit deeper, this is where we're looking for our low cap altcoin gems. So the ones that we believe can move from say a rank of like 400 odd up into the top 100 and yield very nice returns. So the altcoin we're looking at today is UFT. That is the ticker. And that's what you type in to easily pull things up in a short format. UFT, the ticker. And then that's called Unilend Finance, currently ranked 484. So from here, we can see the total market cap of this right now and the price. We've also got the price in Bitcoin and the price in Ethereum. We can see the 24 hour trading volume and how many coins are currently circulating. So they're available, they're unlocked, they're on the market or being used and the total supply. So this is the max number there will ever be. And there's also a question mark here where we can see the breakdown of that. We've got 25.5 million currently circulating and around 74 million in a development fund. Now via CoinGecko, you've also got access to many sources of information. We've got their public website, their medium page, which is kind of like their blog posts. We've got access to their ether scan, so we can see a lot of information through there. We've got a contract address here, and this is very useful as this is how you add a contract address for a new coin on Uniswap. We'll get to that in a bit. We've got community tabs here, so we can see their Reddit profile, Twitter profile, and Telegram chats. And we've also got a tag down here. This one hasn't got many tags as yet, but essentially this categorizes the token of choice into specific market segments. So this one, for example, could say lending or borrowing, that kind of thing, as this is a money market token. If we continue to scroll down, we've got an overview page, but we can see the markets on which this is trading. We can see some chart data and we can see some historical data as well. We're gonna to go to markets and this is where you can see Uniswap is the most popular by volume. So these are all listed in total volume traded over the last 24 hours. And if we click on the Uniswap market here, UFT, the coin ticker to Ethereum, we will be taken directly to that market on Uniswap. So as we do that, we're given this warning message that just tells you that anyone can create an ERC20 token on Ethereum and they've and therefore this could be a fake, it could be a scam. But the good thing about going through CoinGecko is they have a team of people who are ensuring that only the legit contract addresses are used. So this will take us to the correct market and the correct Unilend Finance. So just click that you understand that and then press continue. 
So now we have the market pair Ethereum to Unilend Finance token. So now we need to connect our wallet by clicking this button up here, clicking on MetaMask, and then typing in our password that we just set a little bit earlier. Click unlock, and there we have our account synced up to Uniswap via MetaMask. So the best thing about Uniswap is that you can just switch between any two Ethereum-based tokens. So simply from here, we can type in one Ethereum to Unilend Finance token and see the exchange rate. We can see the minimum amount that we would receive, 3,059. The price impact of doing this trade on the overall market, 0.29%, and the liquidity provider fee. The liquidity provider fee is 0.3%. So that is the trading fee on this decentralized exchange. As Ethereum is a base pair, so it's tradable with any of these, it's a simple switch. But if you want to get a little bit more exotic, for example, you can swap any token to Unilend. So if we just take Aave as an example here, you can see you can swap one Aave into Unilend Finance token. And then down here, we can see the root. So what it will do in the background is swap our Aave to Ethereum and then the Ethereum to UFT all for us. So on this little interface here, we can essentially switch between any two of these cryptocurrencies, which is a major advancement over centralized exchanges where typically you either have a Bitcoin or Ethereum or a US dollar pegged coin as your base pair. So what I'm gonna do now is actually I've connected to my own wallet. This is one that I currently use. And as you can see, I've got Ethereum on there. I'm gonna do a transaction for you. And I'm also gonna show you how to add a new token. So when selecting a token, you can actually paste an address in. So if we go back to CoinGecko, under the contract address, this is the legit address for this token. We can just paste it in and it will bring up that correct token. If you haven't added this token before, you will have to add it. So I'm just gonna bring up another random one to show you. So I'm gonna add Injective Protocol by clicking on their contract address, and then from Select a Token, pasting that in here instead. As you can see, I will then need to import this token. Again, it's gonna tell you to act at your own risk, People can scam, but as we've got this directly from CoinGecko, we know it's gonna be the correct contract. And then you import. But I do actually want to buy some UFT, that Unilend Finance token. It's one that I quite like, and I think it's gonna go up in the short term. So what we do, we select our market, we're gonna trade some Ethereum for UFT, and we're gonna type in the amount we want to trade. So at this moment, we're gonna do 0.28, and we can see the exchange rate. 0.28 Ethereum is gonna give me 862 UFT tokens. If you click on the settings button, you can also change some settings, such as the slippage. Now the slippage is the amount of price movement in the market. It says that your transaction will revert if the price change is unfavorable by more than this percentage. So I've actually selected mine to a 1% slippage. I think the default is 0.5. In highly competitive market conditions, you want your slippage to be a little bit higher as others may get in before you if there is a lot of demand on a market. We've also got the transaction deadline. This is the maximum amount of time you will wait for your transaction to go through. You can see down here we have an expert mode that I've toggled on and there's also a display multi-hops. So this is restricting swaps to direct pairs only. So for example, Ethereum directly to UFT. If I put that onto on, as in the example earlier, where I did Aave to UFT, it would not allow that transaction because there was not a direct route. It took me from Aave to Ethereum to UFT. So those are some of the additional settings that can be played with. But all we're gonna do now is click swap. So I'm happy with this trade, so we're gonna click swap. And you're gonna see over here the gas fee. So you need Ethereum on your wallet to actually make a transaction occur. It is the gas for the network. Much like putting petrol in your car, it needs that to go. So make sure you've always got Ethereum in your wallet, else you can't actually interact with anything on this blockchain. So draining your funds down to like 0.01 Ethereum is just a no-go. As you can see, the gas fees are pretty high, 
over 1% of an Ethereum to make this trade right now. So this is only like a $400 trade and I'm paying 20 bucks almost in fees. For this tutorial, I'm happy to go with this and show you guys, so you click confirm. Once you press confirm, it will change to pending and this sometimes can take a little while before it allows us to follow the transaction on Etherscan. Once confirmed, you will get a confirmation down the bottom down here and then you can view this transaction on Etherscan. Sometimes it can take a few minutes to go through, so just be patient with this. From clicking on that link, you then are taken to the blockchain and you can see it's moved from my address here, a total of 0.28 Ethereum for 862 UFT. And the total transaction fee was a little bit lower. It was $14 in total. Now back on Uniswap, you can see my balance of Ethereum is down to 0.19 and my UFT balance has gone up to 2,549 in total. So that is pretty much it. That is how you trade altcoins on Uniswap. The only other thing to show you is the dark mode, which you can flex on to maybe save your eyes a little bit of strain. But other than that, you're pretty much good to go and good with trading your altcoins. So there will be a full detailed write-up in the description of how I went about all these steps down below and links to the correct web pages to make sure you don't get scammed or taken off on a tangent via some malicious website. And if you enjoyed the content in today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a thumbs up on this video too. And if it helped you out, share with some friends. But that's all for today's video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.